Welcome back. Today I'm sharing how to make this super easy hippo cake. Hippos are my favorite animal, but I wanted to keep things simple on this one. So I made three 4 inch cake layers and then a domed cake layer in an 8 inch round cake pan. I'm cutting out a small semicircle so that those little 4 inch cake layers can slide right in. Now I'm adding some buttercream onto a 10 inch grease proof cake board to start to assemble our cake. I torted that domed cake layer into four different layers so that there's in my opinion, an adequate ratio of cake to frosting so that every bite is delicious. I'm starting off by stacking and frosting my domed cake layers, and once those are all in place, I'm going to start to frost my 4-inch cake layers. I added a little buttercream between those just to make sure that everything stuck in place and that no air was trapped in between the cake layers. Once my 4-inch cake layers were stacked, I frosted the entire cake in a crumb coat, which really is just a thin layer of buttercream that goes all around the cake to lock in any of those pesky little crumbs. Once my crumb coat was nice and smooth, I used an acetate sheet to get it really super smooth. I popped the cake into the freezer for about 10 minutes until the frosting was firm to the touch. While my cake layer is chilled, I colored a majority of my remaining frosting purple and I set aside one cup of frosting and colored it blue, which you'll see later why we did that. So I'm covering my cake in a second thicker layer of that purple buttercream and once I've fully covered the cake, I'm going to smooth it using my small offset spatula and then of course my handy dandy acetate sheet. For anyone who hasn't used one before, it's really just a thin sheet of plastic that I cut down into a smaller size and it works really well on curved cakes like this. To add the hippo's facial features, I'm actually just using a little bit of buttercream, but you could totally use black and white fondant, but you'll also need a little bit of purple to make his ears. To pipe the nostrils and make sure they're nice and symmetrical and in the right place, I used a little circle cutter to make an outline, which I really recommend doing. It makes the whole process so much easier. The final step was to add on the hippo's ears and of course his little teeth, or maybe their tusks, whatever you want to call them. I used a little bit of white buttercream to do this and then smoothed it out with my small offset spatula. The finishing touch is to add that blue buttercream around the base to make it look like this hippo is peeking its little head out of water. Thank you so much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you want to make this hippo cake at home, the recipe is up on shellsweets.com. So until next time, happy baking!